I had the most frustrating customer today. Okay, so this customer wanted to purchase a camera, and I'm like, I ain't no problem. Until it became a freaking problem. So this customer chose a camera that she liked, and then we were getting all the other like essentials and accessories that she wanted for it. She wanted like another battery, a memory card, a camera case, and I was like collecting all of it together. Also at my work, we do this thing called price matching. Let's say we have this camera bag for $50, and at Target, it's for $40. We're able to bring the price down to $40. And this customer wanted to do this for every single item she bought. It wasn't a problem at all. So this customer was buying a $1,700 camera. No, let me rephrase that. It was $1,799.99. And she was trying to price match it so she could bring the price down. On Amazon, it was $1,798. And I was like, do you want to price match the $2? Of course. She said yes. So we brought a $1,700 camera down, $2. It's honestly no problem. It takes like 10 seconds, but 2 fucking dollars. For some reason, she wanted to purchase the camera and like all the other accessories she was getting with it separately. So I was doing the camera transaction first. So I brought down the price of the camera and everything and we're to the point where all she needs to do is just put the card in the chip reader. Before she put it in the chip reader, she picked up the camera box and saw that there was a little bit of a dent in it. There was a dent in the camera box and she was like, why is there a dent in the camera box? Can I exchange it for a different one? And I've already spent a half an hour with the customer. So I'm just like, sure, I will be happy to get you a different camera box. And to make this so much better, English wasn't her first language. So I had to explain everything like four times for her to actually understand. So I went back to the camera cages, put away the broken box and got out a new one. And luckily for her, those were the only two cameras. So I brought back the fresh box that wasn't broken. And then she was like, can I get a different one? What do you mean? That is the different one. I literally said to her, I was like, what's wrong with that one? I don't think she understood me, obviously, because English wasn't her first language. And I was like, that is the new camera box. There's nothing wrong with it. And then she's like, oh, this is a new one? And I was like, yes. And she was like, okay. Oh my god, dude, let's go. I can name this video Trick Shot. So I was ringing out the new camera, brought the price back down from the $2, had to do the second transaction, was price matching all of her other accessories with it. Then she wanted to bring this camera back down $25. We were selling this camera back for $50, and on Amazon it was for $25. And I was trying to explain to her that we can't price match that because it's not shipped and sold from Amazon. And like the details or something, it'll say shipped and sold from Amazon. And that's what it needs to say for us to be able to bring the price down. Cause if it doesn't say that, then it's from a third party seller and just like, well, what the fuck? We can't do that. We can't price match like eBay just because it's like a third party seller. Try to explain that to her 12 times. And it's to the point where I was supposed to get off a half an hour ago. I was supposed to get off at two today, but I actually got off at 2.30 because of this bitch. I mean, it was no problem. It was a good ass sale. It came out to be like a $1,900 sale. So I wasn't really complaining, but oh. And this is the reason why I'm always skeptical when trying to help a customer when I could tell that English isn't their first language. She managed to save like over $200, so why are you still complaining? The amount of times she said sorry to me. I felt bad, but <laughs> she is the definition of a pain in the butt. I swear to God, after all that and she decides to return the camera, <sighs> I'm personally gonna hit her in the head.